So he made a century yesterday in three and a half minutes. This frame has been going five and a half minutes and there's nothing down yet. How that red found the gap through all those reds. I'm very surprised at that one. And very near the edge of the pot, and that's why he's lost control of the cue ball. I don't think he's got much choice but to play the snooker. And so easy to escape from the snooker. So, change of plan. Didn't play the pot. Black back down the table and hamper his opponent. That's an excellent shot. Most people would have played the snooker there, but it was such an easy escape to hit those two reds closest to the right corner. And that's why he didn't play it. One. Ben probably thought he had no choice there, but to play the pot, try and play the safety. And he left one on. Seven. Could have played for the black there, O'Sullivan, but that would have tied it up. Eight. Fourteen. Fifteen. Of course, he has won two titles this season, both invitation events, big events, though, Hong Kong and the Champion of Champions, where Judd Trump made that maximum, but in a rematch of the world final. Twenty-two. For him, I guess, a little quietly, but he always seems to get through the early rounds despite that. 29. Uh, I'm pretty sure he tried to finish top side of the black there. So he could disturb something, but didn't quite come far enough. And this red isn't a gimme. He has got his eye in now a little. 36. Good pot. Two reds now to the left of the black spot. We'll go to the right corner. Forty-two. Now he could play for the black, if he so wished. Forty-three. Was the safe red sort of in his favour with the lead he's got? Oh, well, that's not in his favour. That was out of the blue. <laughs> that was just careless. Trying to leave an angle on the black to disturb the reds. Just completely unexpected. One. Needed a little bit of luck there, and it didn't happen. Eight. Doesn't want to leave that red that's on to the right corner. And he didn't want to kiss the yellow with the red. He got a good cue ball. Had that red come back down the table. Well, you could say that it was a little bit careless of Anir Sullivan. To leave that red so easy to hit. A big shot, this. Well played. And now a great chance. Now, got to leave the cue ball high on the black here, so he can play the cannon to those three reds. Twelve. Perfect. Didn't work out the last time he attacked these reds. Let's see if this is any different. Oh, but don't forget the pot. Simple black missed off the spot. Unfortunately for him, he hasn't left an easy red on. <laughs> Didn't think it was in, but it managed to drop. So he needs this pink and the red. Eight. Where the colours are, Wollaston will play on here. Fourteen. It's Forty-five in it, thirty-five on. Chances for snookers down that bulk end. Yeah, and chance of a free ball as well. One snooker with a free ball.
So, good shot, good shot, good snooker. Not easy to hit this one, but it mustn't, absolutely mustn't leave a free ball. Look at this for a shot. Well, fake from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Yeah, he might have a future in Karen Billiards, <laughs> based on that shot. It's all about going around the angles. Snookers. Well, that's five cushions he's got there. Ben Weston, four. So there's one of them. Now, may have a chance of this red. I was going to say at the double. He decided to try a snooker of his own. And another one. And because the red's in the middle of the table, it makes it a little bit more difficult to hit. Well, well, that's number two. O'Sullivan won a frame in the World Grand Prix final last year and having needed two snookers, he eventually won the match. Well, another chance. Swerve round the brown slightly. And he'll be relieved, O'Sullivan, because I was getting a bit sticky. Williston got two of the three he needed. Nine. He did have a chance earlier on, didn't he? he missed that black once he was trying to open reds up. And now, Nine and a frame. I suspect that will be it. An interesting start. O'Sullivan has still not lost a frame in the tournament. And the 1997 world champion, Ken Doherty. Hang on, the red's in. Well, that's a bit of fortune. He raises his hand. Got to make these little bits of luck count. Six. These days, being world number 44, that's good. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. It's just trying to climb your way up the ranking list with a good run in a tournament. He can, and he's proved he can beat that fella. 15. Well, these are the matches, aren't they, that make the difference. You know, you need to be winning against players like O'Sullivan. Real confidence-boosting victories if you can pull them off. 23. Oh, very aggressive shot. He's left with this tricky red to the middle. Another very aggressive shot and deserve better. Yeah, well played. Tough cut, no idea where the cue ball was going. Now, will he take the brown on? 
Here we go then. Big shot. Well, he did so well there. 46. And this is a nice angle to be on this red, just to slow stun it in. 47. Being straight, it's very difficult to get to the next red. Yeah, good shot again, but just didn't draw that cue ball back far enough. So from the three to make 55, he's got the black save. The pink's tied up at the moment as well. Well, the black is going to play its part if O'Sullivan is to win the frame. Brilliant pot from us. I was say, he might only need to pot it once, but with the last black, he will need it. Four. Five. Eleven. Twelve. One of these reds will go to the right middle. Eighteen. So, looks straightforward enough. Nineteen. Then we get down to the black. Twenty-five. 26. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Thirty-eight. Forty. Forty-three. Never out of position, but that black is a real tough one unless he moves it. Forty-seven. And just left it a little bit too straight on the blue. Thank you. Oh, what a great attempt. But he hasn't knocked it into a potting position. He's played the double. He's played the double and stayed out. Well, it was a great effort, but Ben Wollaston, of course, put the black safe. Yeah, it was a good attempt, wasn't it? Well, it was a brave attempt, you've got to say. And it looks like the fluke that he got earlier isn't going to do him any good. Yeah, O'Sullivan wins a dramatic frame on the black to extend his lead. O'Sullivan knocked it in. He needs two more to take on Gary Wilson or Ken Doherty in round three. Foul and a miss. Ronnie Sullivan, four. One. Beautiful. Played with a lot of drag on the cue wall. Just a little heavy. One. Playing it with side to get the cannon on the red. Now, oh, can he get back to the black? 
nine. Do I have any chance of it? Another raid. Seventeen. So Trump made a maximum earlier on. Nothing would give him more pleasure than to match it. Twenty-four. Yeah, I mean he raved about Trump's maximum in our studio. In fact, he predicted he'd make a second one. Twenty-five. In the match. Now, does it go into them? Not the deck dead directly above the black. Caught the red directly above the black. If he catches the one to the left, I think he's got to be on one. Ooh, surprising miss. Yeah. And one. Well, we know he's playing well, Ben. Knocked in that 55 in the last frame. No reason why he can't knock in another good break here. He wouldn't need the safe red on the left side cushion. Seven. Fourteen. He doesn't seem to be intimidated by O'Sullivan. I mean, he took that black on in the last frame, final black. It was a very difficult pot. Got to admire his attitude in this match. Twenty-one. Yes, he's had his health issues, which he uh, talked about pre-match. Obviously, it's uh, had an effect on the results. Just a couple of inches out on position there. He's missed it. And that was just a careless positional shot the last time round, and it was a great chance that. Look at the reds. Could have got the cover very easily. One. So. Ronnie O'Sullivan doesn't need that safe red Eight. on the left side cushion. But those two reds closest together, uh, one of them will go to the right middle. Nine. Uh, he could play the cannon to those two reds here. He'd be on the red to the middle, whatever. Fourteen. Nicely played. That's developed them, made them a lot easier. 20 points, the difference. And he had the, the good chance himself after O'Sullivan missed initially. Another great positional shot, stunning around the two angles. He just makes that cue ball talk, 18. doesn't he? 19. So, just one of the two reds required to get to the snooker's required stage, and it's looking like 3 0. Yeah, it should seem to a 3 0 lead. And Ben will be thinking, these should have been mine. 34. Seven out of seven in terms of frames played and won. And it's a question now of closing it out. 42. He's had a different attitude this Four. evening, Four. Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's fought hard on the safety. He's took care on the pots. Four. 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 Maybe not with that one. Damage done, though. It was done when Wollaston missed that pink. Ronnie O'Sullivan is one away from victory. Mark Allen's up tomorrow. Of course, he's looking to win three ranking titles in a row against uh, Martin Gould. That'll be in the afternoon. There's always great anticipation when he plays and the, the fact that that's still the case after 30 years. <laughs> but whatever you get, it's always interesting. He's made a couple of errors tonight, a couple of unexpected misses, but hasn't been punished for them. Joy to watch over the years. And I've seen him since he started. Cue ball's close. Oh, oh! 
Wait for it, don't blow it. Wow, it's clinging on for dear life, isn't it? What a difference that makes. I think it was Ronnie's pure will <laughs> that kept that out. Oh, that was an, a bad shot from where he was. Yeah, that little flick on the green has left this red on to the corner. Very risky to play for the black now, full length of the table. He's played for the black. It was a good pot, this. Deserved to be on the black. There's the side going on. That's all he could do. He couldn't do anything with the cue ball. Nine. That's another good recovery shot. Yeah, it was going well in the last frame. He was on 30 Four. when it missed a, a tricky little pink to the middle. 15. Now he could pot it this time. 22. Twenty-three. You just 28. need that little bit of luck to finish on an easy red. And this is tough. Can't afford to miss. Well played. Great recovery shot. Although he's on this easy red to the left corner, I don't think the black goes to the right corner. So he's going to have to screw back for the blue from there. And that's okay, straight on the blue to the corner. Should lead him to that red, straight red to the right corner, which leads to the black. I expect him to pot this and play a little cannon. 45. 46. Just seems to open the shoulders a bit in this frame. He potted that good red to the middle, didn't he, to keep it going. 53. 54. So the black, the red and the black, and O'Sullivan would need a snooker. Yeah, that wasn't the cleanest pot, but it went in. 62. As I say, this black should make it 3-1. Yeah, that red to the middle that you mentioned was all important. It was a brave shot to take on. Seven. Yeah, because he was leaving a red to the right corner. Had he missed it, he just played positively. Seven. I think that's what's Seven. dangerous for the players. And of course, they're all good enough when they do have a go to make breaks like this. Right now, we're seeing how good he actually is. Eight, five. Why Tatiana is a well-known personality on the circuit. Very good referee we saw at the UK Championship. Nine, Sixth century of the season. Nine, it take him up to 150 for his career. Be done, Ben Williston. He needs more of the same. This has been, this has been a great effort. Very quick. 110. Well, he's actually on the stats to score more points in the match. But <laughs> of course, it's done on frames. A great response. 119. If you can keep it going, you never know. The upset could still be on. But this has been a wonderful break. A total clearance from Ben Wollaston of 132 and Ronnie O'Sullivan not through yet he's still one away leading now by three frames to one I think the brown has come to save him a little there and red would have been on well interestingly the pot success they've gone for an identical number of balls and 
Wollaston is miles in front, 96%. O'Sullivan, 87.5. O'Sullivan has looked... There you see it. O'Sullivan has looked to get in and kill it off, but he's presented a chance to a player who's just made a 1-3-2 in the last frame. Now, black and pink tied up for the moment, but he could come down and play for that red just by the black spot. At some stage, maybe. He's attempted it a fraction Six. harder and he would have had the perfect opportunity to pop that red and bring the black into play. So with that red in the bulk area, it's not as imperative as it would be to finish the right side of the blue. Seven. He was trying to bring the pink into play. Thirteen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Well, it was a very risky red he took on. Very difficult red as well. And put by the brown. Shorter pace. He needed to be straight on this red. 23. 24. Good pot with the rest. Yeah, it's still such a difficult table, this. Yeah, he tried to play on that red by the black, Benwell trying to 24. force things. So Sullivan still got that same problem he had. Had he been top side of that red, could have played a little cannon, brought the black into play. One. Well, in one shot, he's brought that pink into play. Now oh, he needs another good shot here. And that's a good shot. Seven. So now, the pink available. Fourteen. Just over screwed that one. Wanted to be straight on this red. It's slightly more difficult. 15. Another good recovery shot. And that was pressure. 21. 22. Certainly not had things his own way this evening. O'Sullivan has his chance now. 28. 29. You can see Wollaston looking on in, with a bit of pain in the background because, as I say, he's had his chances this evening. Made that wonderful century in the last frame. 35. 36. Now, he's looking for an angle on this red to be able to play a cannon to the red next to it. And that looks just about right. 42. 43. Uh, he knows now it's going to be difficult to get to the next red. Needed to be top side of this black. What a great attempt this is. 50. Hasn't quite made it though, according to the body language. 50. The red was effectively match ball, but it stays out. Now then, just the red needed, but it's not an easy one. 
Well, that's respect. Only needed the red. So Ben in big trouble here. And he doesn't want to hit it cushion first from behind. Doesn't want to hit it from behind. So has to hit it, but obviously can't leave the pot on. So still alive in this match, Ben Williston. Oh, how close a game was that? He's such a positive player. It was an easy safety. What about that? Oh, what about that for a shot? And a nice angle on the black. Oh, never thought of that one. Eight. Makes the clearance a lot easier. Well, he's going to need it anyway, isn't he? 32 behind. Nine. So he can steal this frame by a single point. What a moment this is for Ben Wollaston. Well, he thoroughly deserves it from that red that he got in with into the bar corner. Beautiful shot. Well, 16. these five colours on their spots, so it's down to him to put these away and extend this match further. 19. Twenty-three. I always think the brown to blue most important shot. Twenty-eight. Forty-one and a very steely clearance. Not over yet then. And Ben Wollaston has made this a lot closer. It's now just three-two. One. So, Ben Wollaston in first. In this sixth frame. Oh no, sir. Ben Wollaston one. I didn't detect a kick. I'm sure we'll have another look at that in a moment. One. And the cue ball finished where he wanted it. So, O'Sullivan with his chance. Eight. Nine. That's the thing, isn't it, from Wollaston's perspective, he's no longer miles behind chasing. It's suddenly anyone's match. So the sort of pressure transfers again. Sixteen. Yeah, he'll be disappointed for sure. Got perfect position on the red. But now it's in O'Sullivan's hands. Needs to get that pack open quickly. Can't do it this shot. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. So if he can leave himself low on the black and screw into them. Unless the pink will pot to that left corner. Thirty-two. Caught the pink. He was trying to miss the pink, hit the reds. 39. So Ben Wollaston will be coming back to the table. Well, maybe he won't be coming back to the table. What a shot that was. But there's no easy red to play for off the blue. Oh, another great positional shot. 45. Twenty-four. 
Five, six. Well, I can't think of many people that would have took that last red on. No doubt the fans here in Edinburgh, as anywhere in the world, will be Big delighted time. to see him again. Yeah, they've come to see, of course, lots of different players, but Ronnie O'Sullivan always, always draws a crowd. Six. Inch perfect again. It's been a great match, this really has. crowd have thoroughly enjoyed it. Six. Well, O'Sullivan has produced a great break here. Six. Six. Just at the right moment and so many times of course over the years that's been the case when he's had to produce something he has done 73 86 Well, I'm sure we'll see him again in our studio, but this is where everyone wants to see him, of course, on the table. As he looks to end here with a century, that red has not gone in. 93 then from Ronnie O'Sullivan. What a barnstorming break to win it. Ben Wollaston was just raising the stakes a little, but O'Sullivan held him off at the last. He's the winner by four frames to two.